wild winds fueling flames across the region. Firefighters battled this fire near Sassoon City. There's a good shot of a water drop from the air. They got on this thing quickly. This uh, fire did send up lots of smoke billowing towards Travis Air Force Base. The flames even jumping a highway at one point. And CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live along Walters Road and Highway 12 with a closer look at the scene there. Laura. Well, Tony, you said they got here quickly. There was a nearby strike team position by Solano County that got here in four minutes from the start of the fire. And Sistoon City Fire says that's why they were able to control it so quickly. Now, let me show you. This fire did jump Highway 12. Here are the burn scars on the southbound side of Highway 12. And I'm going to turn you around to the northbound side. Look at all of this damage. You can see fire crews still cleaning up. Sistoon City Fire says says when this jumped Highway 12, there were several vehicles on the highway that did get stuck for a period of time. Though there were no injuries and the vehicles were able to get out safely, and obviously they then shut down the highway, which is back open now. Several agencies helping to get this fire under control. As you said, helicopters doing water drops. Those helicopters came in from Contra Costa County. Travis Air Force Base was on scene because the air base is right nearby, although they were unaffected and of course that strike team we spoke about earlier so really a group effort getting this fire under control in some seriously dangerous conditions including 30 mile per hour winds and as you can see plenty of dry brush to burn